This market is going to come down. It's going to be the biggest crash in world history because pensions are the biggest problem in the world. And in 1999, I said in 2016, the market would crash, but it didn't crash. And there's many reasons why it didn't crash. One reason was I didn't foresee quantitative easing. Yeah. I didn't think it would print that much money. I, mean, I still can't believe it. I couldn't believe interest rates would go below zero. So that's why it didn't crash. And what's real money is gold and silver. You know, gold and silver are God's money. God made them. Not mm -hmm. any, I'm not really religious, but God made that yeah. money. Unlike Bitcoin, unlike unlike the dollar, the peso, the yen. When I when I came back from Vietnam, I'm 25 years old, about your age. My poor dad was poor. I just come back from Vietnam. He was unemployed. He had no job. He had no paycheck, and he had no pension. And he had a PhD. He didn't know anything. So that's why the Rich Dad Company was founded. You know, some some years later, is because I had to prove I knew what I was doing, so I could get rich without a job, without paychecks, a lot of pension. And that's why the Rich Dad Company was founded, because with the right financial education, this crash would be the best thing that ever happened. But if you're thinking like my poor dad, PhD, poor, helpless, and desperate, you'll probably be just like him. Yeah. That's the problem, because you, know, you have Uber is a complete stock market scam. You have WeWork, you have Peloton. Those are all your generation stocks. And they're complete shams. Mm -hmm. But they make a lot of money right now. So the reason I'm saying this is your greatest asset is this, your brain. Okay, so going back again 25 years, I'll uh, be 50 years now when I graduated from school, when I was 25 years old, all of my friends wanted high paying jobs. So I get out of the Marine Corps <clears throat> and what Many of my classmates did, they went to fly for United Airlines. So they made a lot of money. For them, it was a lot of money. It was about 400000 a year. I didn't take that route. Mm -hmm. Instead, I went to work for Xerox to learn how to sell. Because if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you've got to sell. So when I say that to most people, they say, well, I don't want to sell. So you're not going to learn that way. Then I had to learn how to public speak. Then I learned to write books and all this. So I get richer and richer and richer as the economy goes down. Mm -hmm. So all of you listening right now, this is your greatest asset. And you have a chance. Because while your classmates are crashing and yeah. burning, you might go the other way. Because most of my classmates are broke right now. Mm -hmm. My friends who are captains for United Airlines, their pensions disappeared, I think, in 2009 or 10. Not white cap. So the biggest thing here is that what I say to young people is invest in this here. Because that's all I do. So my ladies and gentlemen, Rich Dad was founded back in 1997, which is I don't know how many years, 22 years now. But the reason is we believe in teaching people to fish. Mm -hmm. Our school system teaches you to give people fish. And there's 20% of the population, it's the 80-20 rule, it's called Cradle's Law. 80% versus 20%. So 80% of the people need to learn how to fish. 20% need to be given fish. The problem is what Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and all these socialists and communists are saying, they're good people. I agree with them. But the number of people who need to be given fish only increases. So you can listen to the school teachers who say that we should take care of the poor, and we should, but not by giving them money. It's our school system. We're still teaching people to work for money and give poor people money. And there's 20% that needs to be given money. But the rest of you can do something. People say, what can I do? Well, everybody can go out and buy silver. Mm -hmm. Silver price went down today. Yeah. It's good news. It's less than 20 bucks. Everybody in the world can afford 20 bucks. But again, out of 100, only two might buy this. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, am, what am I investing in? I'm still in real estate. You know why? Interest rates are so low. The housing prices are high. That's why there's a bubble in property. But I'm building old age homes right now, old, you know, called senior living for me. As Kim says, you know, she's, she's reserved the penthouse for me. <laughs> it's a big market. In 2020 to 2030, there'll be 2 billion old guys like me turning 65. Yeah. 2 billion all over the world. The last thing I want to say is this. It's the biggest opportunity in the history of the world.